The Pentagon's watchdog group is establishing a new team in Ukraine to monitor ongoing U.S. security assistance to Kyiv. A growing number of lawmakers have called for more oversight into how U.S. aid is being used. The positions are based at the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv to monitor the aid, which currently totals nearly $44 billion. We've got more national headlines. Let's send it over to Alan Miller. Monica, former President Trump and 16 of his co-defendants are getting a later trial date in Georgia. That's opposed to Kenneth Cheeseboro and Sidney Powell, who are set for trial next month. A new scheduling order notes the trial date for the 17 is to be determined. It says discovery is due by October 6th and motions are due by December 1st. All 19 defendants are charged with trying to subvert the results of the 2020 presidential election. NASA says there is no evidence to suggest that unidentified anomalous phenomena, also known as UAPs or UFOs, have extraterrestrial origins. After a year-long study by an independent team commissioned by NASA, the agency released its report this morning. NASA's administrator said more science is needed to understand the unidentified phenomena. And while researchers still don't know exactly what the UAPs are, it will be NASA's mission to find out. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, we'll give you a look at what gives the small town of Antler bragging rights. Back to you, Monica. Well, thanks a lot, Alan. So a tropical storm warning is in effect for the island of Bermuda as Hurricane Lee comes close. It's expected to pass by the island today. Forecasters say the Category 2 hurricane will bring strong winds and heavy rain to that area. Lee is expected to head toward parts of the U.S. over the next few days. Hurricane and tropical storm watches are in effect for much of coastal New England. Meteorologists say even if Lee weakens, the overall impact will be far-reaching because of the size of that storm, Kevin.